tube. So today we're going to be learning a really cool move, which is going to be the twist, twist shimmy walking. Are you ready to give it a go? Of course you are. Let's get started. So I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of a warm up first, and then we're going to go into it. Okay. So find your space. Take your legs nice and wide, shoulder distance apart. We're just going to start with some circles. Circles are one of my most favourite ways to warm up just because it helps to warm up, warm up and loosen up the hips a little bit, okay? So nice big circles for four, for three, for two, for one, you're gonna change direction, push it round, push it round, engage your belly a little bit, okay? So your belly is engaged all the time, okay? Chest is up all the time, you never drop by now. Shoulders are down, long neck. Please remember to hit like, subscribe and follow. All that good stuff if you like my videos and share them if you like them much appreciated okay big circles big circles all right then we're going to go into a little balance exercise to test our shimmies so bring your feet together for me sink into the heels nice and heavy so hips down hips down tummy engaged chest up shoulders down and long neck okay from now i just want you to try to stay the same height and bring your heels up for me try to balance and then put your heels back down. Notice I'm not straightening my knees and I'm not actually really changing my height either, to be honest, right? So I'm sinking, I raise my heels off the floor. Takes a bit of practice and a bit of control when you put the heels down. So up and down. And again, up and down. And you're gonna go plie, which is to bend, you're already bent, so plie. Then you're gonna say releve, releve is a tiptoe. Then you're gonna say straighten the legs. And you're gonna keep the legs nice and straight without locking the knees. And you're slowly gonna put the heels back into the floor. Okay, posture, breath, let's go again. Plie, sink into the heels. Releve, tiptoe, uh oh. Try, straighten your legs. And then place the heel down really slowly. A bit faster, plie, releve, straighten your legs, heels down. Plie, releve, straighten your legs, heels down. Try to balance yourself as your best as you can, try to balance. Okay, then you're gonna sink into the heels for me and you're gonna do your loose shimmy. So remember in my school we call the loose shimmy, the shimmy where you scissor your thighs forward and back, keep your heels on the floor. The scissoring of the thighs is what makes the hips go up and down. So your hips are going up and down, so you imagine your hips are gonna touch your ribs, okay? Chest up, shoulders down for four, Three, two, one. We're gonna combine it with our circles in a second. Let's just do, um, combine it with our leg work in a second, actually. So do our circles again, is what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, then change direction for me. Good, beautiful. So take it around, take it around. So remember, if you wanted to learn with me properly and learn from the ground up and all the techniques of all the good stuff, <laughs> and to be relearn how to be really amazing with your dancing, come and train with me. You can do it live on Zoom with class recordings afterwards, or you can do the class membership subscriptions only, which is 20 pounds a month. And you get to watch all the class recordings in your own time and your own pace for as long as you like, as often as you like for the whole of your duration, all right? And the videos aren't like YouTube, let's show me again. The videos aren't like YouTube where you just do loads of different random tutorials, no. I've created my own syllabus. Yes, I did. <laughs> I created my own syllabus, and there are certain moves in every level that you will learn and variations and things like this, so you'll progress a lot. It's like going to university or college or getting your black and green and blue belt and red belt in karate, right? You learn all the techniques and you progress. It's not like these videos, which are fun, but you're not just learning random things all over the place, no. Come to my school and I teach you properly, and I teach you how to be the best dancer you can be. You'll surprise yourself with what else you learn as well. Okay. So now we're going to try to do the loose shimmy in our leg position. So plie, releve, releve means tip to remember that. Up, put the heels down. Now this one we're going to stay in plie, we're going to stay in releve, you're going to stay there for me and try to do your loose shimmy in this position. So if it helps you can stagger one foot ever so slightly in front of the other, ever so slightly, okay? Sinking down and then push those hips up and down for me. Make sure your knees are not opening and closing, okay? <laughs> All right, sink into the um, balls of the feet and push. Try to stabilize your chest. Try to keep the shimmy going. Try not to pump your heels up and down. Notice my heels are staying in the same position. I'm not like doing this, right? Okay, relax. Okay, 
So let's move on to the technique. So let's do the twist first. So we're gonna soften those knees. Now, for different techniques, requires different techniques of the legs, okay? So for this one, if I show you real quick, just a reminder what we're gonna to learn today. One, super good for your abs. Super good for your abs. But what we're gonna to do today with terms of the, the, the hips is you're just gonna rotate those hips a little bit. So, legs together, soften the knees, make sure they're not too bent because it won't work. Not, not locked, because that's gonna be bad for your joints. But soft knees, lightly soft knees, okay? And from there, you're gonna rotate the hips. If I go, come closer, you're rotating. So basically, it all comes from your waist and you're bringing this hip forward towards this belly button. <laughs> you only have one belly button, this belly button, this belly button, the only belly button you have, okay? Then this hip is gonna to go towards your belly button and this hip is gonna to go towards your belly button. And as you notice, try not to bend and straighten the knees as you do it, okay? If you wanna to try to keep your legs nice and straight, I'm wearing shorts, don't worry, I'm not flashing you. <laughs> but keep your legs nice and straight as you do it. And the rotation, or the twisting comes from the waist, from the waist, yeah? So my chest, try to keep your chest still. So let's let your chest go all over the place, okay? Keep sinking into your feet, so your feet are not leaving the floor, flat on the floor. And you're just gonna rotate the hips. Twist, 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 twist. I'll come closer for you. I don't advise trying to learn this if you've just drank loads of water or loads of drink or loads of food, because you're gonna get a stitch. If I come real close, you'll see how much the well, especially when we start walking, you'll see how it works the abdominals. It's like doing um, sit-ups without doing sit-ups, doing sit-ups via dancing instead. I know what I prefer to do. <laughs> I prefer to dance all day, every day. Okay, all right, so that's your basic twist, that's what's happening, but now we need to combine it with the feet. So some shimmies go over the feet and they just go right? But this shimmy is per step. And it's only really a shimmy when you step really fast, right? So, so, so for example, if you like my three quarter shimmies for my three quarter shimmy video, if I go, so if I do three quarter shimmy, and then it becomes a shimmy, right? If I do my three quarter shimmy quite fast, that's when it becomes a shimmy. When you're learning it and you go slow, and you do something like this, it's not really a shimmy, right? Same concept with this one, right? So when I go into my twists, slowly it's not really gonna be a shimmy until I speed it up. Anyway, so now let's go to the legs. So, remember what I said. You don't want the knees to be too bent, it's not gonna work. Don't lock them. Very gentle, soft knees. Then, you need to come to a releve. Releve means tiptoe. You're gonna take baby, baby steps. Now, when I say baby steps, I literally mean tiny steps. So small, they're only, you're only stepping so that you can actually walk, but I'm not actually taking large steps. Notice my legs are not bending and straightening as I do it. You don't wanna do that, because then you're gonna ruin the twist. So you ruin a twist, you just won't be twisting, okay? So, I'll go again. My tiny, tiny steps. Notice I keep my feet, my steps, directly under my hips. That's really important, okay? For alignment and posture purposes. So I'm stepping. You can't really see anything going on in my legs, right? Okay, so now we go real slow. It's harder to go slow because, why? Because it's harder to balance, right? So if you need to like hold on to a wall or something, and do it in place first, while you find your placement and your balance. That's totally cool, okay? So, here we go. I'm gonna step, tiny steps, one, two, one, two. And now just, to, just if I was gonna be you and you were gonna hold onto the wall or something for support, <laughs> hold onto my ceiling, <laughs> and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, same foot, same twist. If I step on this foot, this hip's gonna go forward. When I step on this foot, this hip's gonna go forward. Step, 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 step. Now make sure your legs don't bend and straighten because some of you are gonna be really tempted to do that. You wanna just literally, foot to hip is the connection, foot to hip. So one, two, one, two. And if you can, I encourage you not to hold on. Keep your balance, I'm come closer. So I'm rotating my hips from the ball of my foot. <laughs> Key word, from the ball of my foot to my hip words <laughs> from the ball of my foot to my hip z okay ba 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 step it and every single step has a twist same foot same hip yeah but face the back ba ta 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 
All right, okay. So now we're gonna do this. On the spot, slow, medium, fast. Okay, so let's crank it up. And then we're gonna go walking, like traveling in your space. Are you ready? Five, let's go slow fast. So, one, two, three. It's harder to go slow to keep your balance. Six, seven, a bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two. And if you've got something like me, like my costume, if you have a costume, something you can tie around your hips that's gonna swish, it will really help you to get the vibe, okay? Remember to keep your chest still, faster. Da, 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 da. Tiny steps, try not to stamp, try not to stamp. Twist, 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 twist. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna come closer. Same thing, slow, medium, fast. So, reminder, plie, bend the knees, releve, releve. Straighten the legs a little bit. Don't lock them, nice and soft. Okay, we're gonna stack it on the spot. Step and hip. Step and hip. Step and hip. Step and hip, faster. Step, 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 step. Five, six, seven, faster. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. You crazy, huh? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, okay, so here we go. Let's go again. Now we're gonna try walking it. So can we just do slow ones first? Step, step. Now remember, the foot is underneath the hip. Twist at the same time. Twist, 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 twist. faster. Twist, 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 twist. And you're still stepping. And you're still keeping the feet underneath your hips, aren't you? Please check, check it. You're getting a stitch yet? Are you getting a stitch yet? <laughs> I am, <laughs> all right. But I just ate breakfast to be fair. Okay, so, ready, go faster. Ta, 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 ta. No stamping, no stamping. Can you keep the steps? Keep the feet directly underneath your hips. Keep the feet directly underneath your hips. Directly underneath your hips. <laughs> okay, let's do eight medium. Let's go straight to mediums. Eight medium, eight fast, traveling non stop, alternating. Are you ready? Seven and one, two, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. One, two, can you go backwards? Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh my God, I don't know about you. I got a stitch. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, it's a really good way toning your muscles without having to do sit-ups. How cool is that, huh? Okay, give yourself a little pat on the back. Yay! Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.